Today's video is brought to you by Alpaca Gear. Alright everyone, I'm back with a comparison video today featuring some Alpaca products. Many of you across uh, various platforms have been reaching out with questions and I want to express my gratitude to Alpaca for their uh, generous support of the channel, providing content to help the growth. In today's video, we'll be exploring the Alpaca Metro Backpack and I'm putting it against the Elements Backpack Pro just for comparison. It might be lengthy, but I'll get straight to the point and keep it straightforward. So let's jump right into it. To begin, let's focus on the Metro Backpack first. So I'm gonna put this one to the side first. And we'll just talk about this one first. Um, so this is the Metro Backpack, and this is one of the Alpaca's latest products that they provided me with a sample to thoroughly test. With a 12 litre capacity, it's a compact uh, backpack ideal for everyday use, offering more space than a sling. It provides that extra room for daily errands, school, or even an overnight stay. Here are the features. Uh, this is a screenshot from the website listing with the dimensions, weight and capacity. Read through it and pause the screen if you have to. Okay, let's begin with the exterior. The Metro backpack boasts an exceptional minimalistic design. The shape is a clean and super sleek providing an aesthetically pleasing look when worn. Designed with their Axoflux 300D recycled fabric. Uh, this is 300 less than their uh, usual 600D that you will find on the Elements Backpack Pro, which you will see in a bit. So expect this one to feel just a bit thinner. Despite its minimalism, there's a subtle roundness at the edges here, uh, especially when filled, avoiding a completely square shape with uh, sharp edges. The front here uh, features a compartment protected by YKK AquaGuard zippers, ensuring that elements won't seep through and affect the items inside. The zipper is orientated vertically, indicating that it's designed for horizontal use, like this. And then um, this feature allows for easy access when the bag is rotated horizontally when, uh, while being worn. This ensures quick and convenient access to belongings while the backpack is in use. So let's move on to the front compartment first. Uh, this compartment offers ample storage, easily accommodating the popular 26 ounce Yeti water bottle uh, that I featured many times on this channel now. And it's uh, 750 milliliters. So for size reference, we're just gonna put this in and just show you if it fits or not. So it does fit with no problem at all. And you can put it there vertically. So it does pass the water bottle test. So I'll just put that over to the side for now. And then turning the bag horizontally, it reveals four open pockets. So let's see if you could zoom in here. So what we got is two large open ones and two for pens or styluses. So a total of four uh, pockets. Uh, just to provide an idea of the size, the pocket can comfortably uh, store my iPhone 14 Pro Max uh, vertically. So I'll just demonstrate it here. So here you go, right here, as you can see. No problem at all. So right here, easily accommodating the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And then we have the pen pockets, which are pretty much self-explanatory. And then we do have this built-in magnetic uh, key attachment, but uh, my sample did not include um, the built-in key attachment magnetic mod clip or tether and I'll showcase it on the screen for you. It's worth noting that most of Alpaca's lineup now includes this feature anyways. Uh, rest assured, mine is just a sample only and for the full release, it won't be included with your product. It's a straightforward and removable and easy to clip on feature, so that covers pretty much the front pocket. Moving on to the sides, the design is clean and unadorned, featuring the Alpaca logo at the bottom right here, which is a consistent touch uh, throughout the Alpaca products. And then at the top here, there's a thick and easily grippable carrying handle. While the bag stands when filled, its design causes it to lean forward a bit, uh, standing at a slight angle. Um, it's just something to keep in mind. Um, moving to the back here, the panel is pretty much straightforward, with two vertical cushion panels at the very back, and um, tapered down shoulder straps, providing a minimalistic design and decent padding for all day comfort. The adjustable straps uh, do have two Hypalon attachment points for your items uh, or the Alpaca Hub system, which you can check out via the link down below. So right here, um, if you can see that. And then you do have metal buckles for the straps, which is certainly a really nice touch as well. So replacing plastics for added uh, durability. So it's pretty nice as well. Entering the main compartment, you'll find double zippers that are uh, reverse coiled, uh, providing a wide through view and easy access to your contents as well. So as we open up, um, moving to the back side of this compartment, there are three pockets. The first is fleece lined and serves as a laptop sleeve, accommodating up to 14 inch uh, laptop. And then below it, there are two additional pockets right here. Um, 
two additional pockets uh, that initially appear mesh-like but are actually fully lined, offering a substantial thickness as well to aid in organizing your cables or similar items. And then moving to the main area here, down at the bottom, it's just uh, ample space for like miscellaneous items. So here we go. So I'll zoom back out, give you a bigger view. As you can see, right here. So let's spin this around to the front side. There are additionally uh, three pockets as well. Um, the top one here features a curved design with the same fully lined interior um, as the other two pockets that I just showed you. Uh, it's zippered and it's, uh, it could potentially serve as a source space for sunglasses. Although it's worth noting that there isn't any uh, substantial protection for delicate items. So um, just bear that in mind. Below that are two deep open pockets as well, right here. According to the stock photos, the left one here, right here, this left one, could uh, accommodate a Steam Deck. So for those that's interested, I think a Steam Deck is actually larger than a Nintendo Switch. So I think you should be able to fit both of them in here, which is a relatively large item. And um, while the right one is designed for a large water bottle. So we're just gonna do a quick water bottle test, since we're here anyways. So this really large water bottle, the Yeti again, and it fits perfectly fine with no issues at all. So that's really good and I did like this for this feature as well. So on to the pros and cons. One notable pro is its compact form factor, making it highly portable while still offering ample space for essentials. This backpack strikes a balance between size and functionality, allowing for easy packing on uh, your essentials and additional items. Another positive aspect uh, is the wide view it provides for easy access. So it does have a, a really good wide view, uh, a feature that's better in this form factor comparing it to the largest, larger Elements Backpack Pro. Um, the downside, I think, is uh, when the items are stored in the front compartment here, they tend to accumulate uh, at the bottom. So right here, uh, just because it's uh, vertical. So a lot of the items just tend to just fall down to the bottom here. Um, it's best suited for horizontal access as opening it vertically may risk items falling out which is a caution uh, that is advised uh, when opening if you got expensive items so that's something to just keep in mind another potential downside um, that i think many people uh, might have thought of as well um, depending on your preference is the absence of an anti-theft pocket uh, at the back here uh, it, it seems this feature was omitted to maintain the backpacks minimal design, avoiding influencing the price. While some may see it as a minimal addition, it's worth noting that such change could also alter a lot of other things. So yeah, that's something that they could potentially look into in the future, but yeah. So on to pricing size and color. It's 76 pounds here in the UK. Please check accordingly for other currencies. It does come in uh, Axel Flux 300D Black and Axel Flux 300D Army Green. And it's 12 liters capacity and it's just the one size only. Let's now compare it to the Elements Backpack Pro and I'll run through this quickly to highlight the differences. If you're interested in a detailed review of the Elements Backpack Pro, drop a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. I have previously reviewed the Elements Travel Backpack, uh, which you can find at the top right corner and I'll link it right now. So yeah, let's get right into it. Here are the two backpacks side by side. The Metro has a 12 liter capacity, while the Elements Backpack Pro boasts a larger 26 liter capacity, effectively more than double the size. Um, the exterior of the Elements Backpack Pro is noticeably uh, larger, featuring double pockets on the sides for carrying items like an umbrella, tripod or water bottle. Turning to the back, the difference is even more pronounced, with the Elements offering a beefier padding and cushioning to accommodate a heavier load. The straps as well on the Elements are a lot wider and there's more padding underneath. Um, let me see if I can show you. And as expected, is given its larger size, both backpacks serve practical purposes but uh, cater to different needs. Um, the Element Backpack Pro distinguishes itself further with additional padding on the back panel, mirroring the design of the Metro but with increased cushioning. Um, notably, the Elements also includes a luggage pass-through right down its center here, uh, which is another feature, allowing it to conveniently attach to your luggage during travel, a uh, feature that's absent in the Metro. In the front here, the Elements Backpack Pro features a smaller compartment with a small pocket suitable for thin items, an aspect uh, absent in the Metro. While the Metro has four pockets in its front compartment, the Elements Backpack Pro has a pool of six pockets with uh, variations in uh, quantity and arrangement. So in regards to here, so one, two, three, four, five, six. 
A notable advantage of the Metro is the presence of a magnetic mod tether key attachment in this front compartment for holding keys, a feature not found in the Elements Backpack Pro. And then at the top here uh, of the Elements, we got, their, uh, we got a dedicated sunglasses or quick access pocket that's also fleece lined to prevent scratches, um, uh, scratches to your eyewear. Unlike the Metro, this pocket is on the exterior. So it's fleece lined in here, it's pretty, pretty dark and you can't see, so, but yeah, it's fleece lined as well. Comparing the main compartments, both backpacks open quite wide, but the Elements Backpack Pro has a denser fabric, making it a bit more challenging to open it compared to the Metro. In the main compartment here, there are two fleece lined pockets. So we got a wide opening here, as you can see. So we got uh, at the back side here, we got two fleece lined open pockets uh, for a laptop and a tablet. So right here at the back here, and then one down here as well. And this, uh, this Backpack Pro can accommodate a larger 16 inch laptop, providing a size advantage over the Metro. Inside the Metro, it does offer better organization with a greater quantity of pockets uh, compared to the Elements Backpack Pro. Again, it's important to note that these two are two different bags designed for distinct purposes, but in this comparison, the Metro stands out for its uh, superior inter internal organization in this uh, main area. On to the pricing size and color. The Elements Backpack Pro comes in at £135 or £175 in the UK. Please check accordingly for other currencies. It does come in the Axoflux 600D Black and Axoflux 600D Army Green or in the Black Axe Pack VX42. However, this is sold out as of now um, and that's the one with the higher price tag at £175. It does have one size only which is a 26 litre capacity. The price difference starts around £59 and £89 uh, comparing it to the £76 price tag of the Metro. So that's, uh, that's the difference. Um, with the 99 being the higher uh, X-Pack VX42 um, colorway. So here's the on-body look. So here's a quick on-body look of the Elements Backpack Pro. It does sit nicely and comfortably on your, your body and it does have uh, really good cushioning, uh, super comfortable. And it does come included with this uh, magnetic um, buckle, uh, sternum strap. Uh, that's also included, yep. Um, this helps uh, keep, keep it stabilized for a better um, comfort. The straps are also adjustable as well to find um, the best comfort that's suited for you. Moving on to the Metro backpack and here's the on-body look. It does sit nice and comfortable against my back and it holds nice and tight and it's nicely positioned in the center of your back for an even uh, weight distribution, especially with the water bottle packed inside. It does help, uh, it still is able to maintain that even weight distribution. Um, I had no problems using this at all during that uh, Christmas holiday period and then yeah no issues at all and then to be able to access that front compartment from your back here uh, you do have to just take off the left shoulder strap and just turn the bag to the front here and just unzip that vertical zip at the front to access your your front pocket uh, front compartment uh, horizontally. In conclusion, considering the two sizes in this comparison, each bag serves as distinct purposes that cater to different needs today and in the future. The Metro is an ideal medium sized option, surpassing the capabilities of a larger sling while still maintaining a more compact form than a regular backpack. It excels in handling everyday needs for many users, although it may not be suitable for those with a 16 inch laptop due to its size limitation. If you're someone that has a 14 inch laptop and want extra room for your tech bits as well in a backpack style, this is honestly perfect. On the other hand, the Elements Backpack Pro is designed for those seeking extra room to accommodate various daily essentials. With larger sleeves up to a 16 inch laptop and pockets, it provides uh, versatility and room for growth making a practical choice for users who want a larger capacity bag with the ability to adapt to diverse needs over time. Ultimately, the best choice depends on the individual uh, preferences and the specific requirements of the users. Um, the Metro backpack has been quite useful for me personally, um, especially for carrying my essentials during this hectic Christmas period. I'll be continuing to use it uh, for now. Given the cold weather, um, and my habit of consuming a lot of hot water, its ability to keep my bottle upright and be with me at all times uh, is very convenient. As we conclude, if you've made it this far, I've got a special treat for you, uh, which is a 15% discount code. 
uh, use it to save some money on your alpaca purchase, uh, be sure to let them know I sent you. Uh, your support is truly appreciated and I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a new year. Uh, stay tuned for more content and showcases and if you have any suggestions, feel free to drop them down in the comments down below. I'm open to anything. Uh, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't. Sign up to my newsletter and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much guys.